What's up guys, it's Jeremy Dwayne here bringing you a first look at the Hetty Wolf update. And uh, first things first, I want to let you guys know where to find Skull. So, as you can see, I'm in Barbarian Village, which is just southwest of uh, Varrock. And you come here and you talk to the Wolf Hunter. And you ask him if he can show you where or how to get there. And uh, you just say, let's go. And he'll teleport you there. And then you run west. Not east. Most people thought that it was the other way. And once you get over here, you'll see a bunch of wolves and all that other stuff. And over here, there's a big bonfire and what you need to do is you need to add a hundred logs to it. You don't have to do that personally, it just has to be you. There has to be a hundred logs in there in total uh, for him to spawn. So go ahead and chop down some trees and stuff and get cracking with adding to, the, adding to the fire. And if you just want the, the boots and you don't have, um, you don't want to f actually fight, if you, just by adding fire, or adding logs to the fire, uh, it'll let you get the drop. So that's pretty nice. And uh, so technically, I don't even have to do anything else. But I'm gonna go ahead and wait around until Skull spawns. Oh, all right. So here he comes. There he is. All right. So how do I get in? How do I attack? Get the claw specs in. Come on, I need to, get, need, need to get these boots. I want the agility XP, and he's down. Did I get it? I did. I got, I got the boots. Sweet. Okay, so these boots give you, uh, I believe it's double agility or woodcutting XP for a certain amount of time. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm probably wrong, and my friend that's in the Skype call right now is probably like, "You're wrong." <laughs> But uh, you can't hear him because I turned him off. And uh, so you do that. And then if you want to kill Hattie, go ahead and run all the way to the east. I've already killed him, but I didn't get my drop, so apparently it didn't count. So just run all the way to the east. <coughs> Pass the player on house portal. And then keep going. And Hati spawns very, very poorly. They really need to up the spawn rate of it because it's ridiculous how fast it gets down and how long it takes to respawn. But uh, it spawns around here uh, in this wood area. There's no, <clears throat> there's no set spawn point. It's just kind of in this area. But most people have seen it around here. So if you come here, you'll see it, and you'll uh, eventually kill it. So all you need to do is get a couple hits on it, and you'll get some XP. You'll get this cloak, you'll get the the helmet, you'll get the gloves. Um, I the last kill I did of Hati, I didn't get the cloak, so I'm assuming that I don't I didn't get enough hits on it. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. While we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the other updates that they that Jagex did. So in uh, yes. So they updated the way that the graphics look uh, for the for the skill thing. Uh, the skill tab. So they, they changed all the icons, they changed uh, they changed the menus. I'm not gonna open it up because it'll make my game crash and I'm not gonna do it but you can do that yourself by clicking on it and it'll pop open a whole new a whole new world no it'll it'll pop open a new advanced skill guide which is all good and I don't know why they're all running over there but we're gonna run this way and see if he's over here maybe no okay I'm just gonna go ahead and come back here and wait so uh, they changed that there's new advanced skill guide there is a whole lot bunch of cool stuff 
and um, they changed it so that whenever you're scaling, it'll it'll show the XP that you're getting above you. Um, any second. Any second. There you go. See, it showed the XP above you. It pops up the thing, which shows the skill that you trained. You can hover over it. You can see, you know, how much wood cutting XP you've gotten, the remainder, and then it disappears. And you can also click on that to go to the advanced skill guide. Um, so that's that. And there is a way to turn that off, but I do not know. I was not able to find it. Um, yeah. So I've, I've tried everything and I cannot find out where to turn that off because it's not under here. It's not under the graphics settings. So yeah, if someone finds out how to turn that off, because they said that you could turn it off, uh, let me know and leave it as a comment and you know we'll we'll get that favorited up or whatever so that people can see. Uh, I don't know what I think of this. They also changed the uh, the XP counter. It's slightly different. Um, instead of it just being a bar, it's it's just you know skill with with the amount. I don't know. It's a little cleaner. Uh, I, I kind of like that, but I don't like it if the XP isn't going to show up there because I like seeing the XP drop. I don't necessarily like this this whole you know. XP appearing above you that that's kind of like eh. I mean it's too much like World of Warcraft and Swator and all that stuff because in Swator and World of Warcraft you uh, whenever you're like fighting and stuff you, you see like a whole bunch of XP and stuff I don't know but overall I think it's it's cool the new advanced skill guides are pretty sweet I, I don't really know uh, if I like it necessarily because it's kind of it it turned the advanced skill guide into the world map where it takes forever to load and um, I'm gonna try it now but it's probably gonna make my game crash oh no it didn't okay so you can see it brought up this new menu you can see what what you need to do and what the other requirements are it'll pop up if you click on it and uh, you can change the milestones, so you can go to Dungeoneering, see what stuff you unlock at certain levels in Dungeoneering. You can go to everything, and it'll show you everything in one tab, which is kind of cool, but I don't know what I think of that. And then also you can quickly switch to the other skills right here. You can scroll down. Um, you don't need to click on that. You can just scroll if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, and uh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I don't like it because it takes a little while to load, and I probably missed the Hati kill, but whatever. So, uh, that's pretty much the update. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep recording, and I will bring it back when Hattie spawns. Alright, so Hattie spawned. We need to get some hits in here so that I can get my cape. Come on. Come on. Get some hits in. And he's dead. So did I get my did I get my cape? I did. I got my I got my cape. There we go. All right. So I got the cloak. Uh, the cloak is cosmetic. It does nothing other than just look stupid, in my opinion. It's kind of it's kind of just bland. Um, but yeah, they also changed the way that the equip slots look. Uh, they updated it with the same graphics as the advanced, uh, as the advanced uh, skill guides, and they changed the way that the whole window looks. Uh, I think that's lo this looks cool. I, I really like that update, and my mic is kind of falling. Uh, one second. Ugh. So I like the way that they changed this. It looks cool. Uh, I'm a noob. I don't have a ring on. Um, just the boots. Um, I will be back in a sec. I'm gonna go to a bank and get on my my helmet and the paws, so I can show you guys those. And it, I have it in here somewhere. There's Hattie head and 
There's my clothes. Check this. Check the power. 100% power. So let's go ahead and bank everything except for this Hattie stuff. All right. So that's what this stuff looks like. Uh, the helmet or the head and the cape are completely cosmetic. They don't do anything. But the gloves give you bonus uh, combat XP, so you can use that for melee, range, or magic. The boots give you bonus uh, agility and woodcutting XP. So uh, these two things are pretty cool. I'm going to be using my boots on agility because anyone that uses it on woodcutting is insane because woodcutting is very easy uh, to just AFK. And then I'll be using my Hattie Paws on uh, defense and attack XP because I already have 99 range and magic. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a Maxing It Out series video coming soon, which uh, my 99 range will be on, and you'll get to see all that good stuff. And we'll see you later today.